Hey, what's up everyone? For this video I'll be showing you how to set up the Mercury Smart Socket. In this case I'm going to be setting it up with the light in the garage. This is an old lamp. You can see the cord right here is really old. And the lamp itself. This is the light right here. And if you did not see it, this is the Mercury Smart Socket. You'll see that the Mercury, Mercury Smart Socket is blinking green and blue, which means it's ready to pair. Make sure you have a, the Genie app and your Genie account. So I'm going to add this to my Genie account with all of my light bulbs. Select Smart Power under the app. And it's blinking back and forth. So confirm that yes, it's blinking quickly. And I just confirmed my password. I'm going, I'm going to change it soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it says searching for device, registering the device to the cloud, and initializing your device. The light just blinked. So it's worked. The light blinked. And now there's a steady blue light. And it confirmed that I'm good to go. It went ling. Now let's nickname it. Right now. Select it. Once you've selected the pin, select all and rename it. This is called Garage Lamp, so let's confirm and select done. Now I can turn it on and off through here, and I'll set it up with Google now as well. This is the garage light. I'll turn it on and off with the app. On off on off whoops sorry off so it's easy as that now now let's link it with my Google account go to Google home select home now go to settings go to home control and under home control add a device right there Select the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and select your account that you want to add a device with. And what you're going to do is you're going to unlink Genie. Unlink account. Then in, under your device accounts, find Genie again. Select Genie. and it will open up a separate page for you to sign in to your Genie account. Once there, sign in with your phone number or email. In this case, it's my phone number, so type in your phone number and password. Google will autofill that for you, then type in your password and select Link Now. Once you've selected Link Now, it's linking your Genie account. And there it is, garage lamp. Now, once you are in the settings, select the pin and assign a room. And you can add a room. And it, this is in the garage, so select garage. And now it's called garage lamp, and it's in the garage. So we have garage lamp, socket, the kitchen light, living room light two, and table lamp all under the Genie account. Select done and it's assigning one device to that room. Select got it. Now we have the kitchen TV, the living room Chromecast, the living room speaker which is the Google Chrome, the Google Home Mini speaker, the garage lamp under Genie, those are under assistant. Under Genie we have garage lamp, kitchen light, living room light 2 which is the overhead light and the table lamp which is before you get into the living room and the lamp lights in the living room as well. The lamp lights are under the Smart Life app and the garage light is under genie just like the smart smart lights mercury smart bulbs this is the mercury smart socket in the next video i'm going to test it out and see if it works when i ask google to turn it on and off so that's how to set up the smart socket from genie the genie smart socket thank you for watching and that's all for this video so now all i have to do is garage light on off off, on, off, on, off, on. And I can now do 
The same thing with my Google Home speaker. I can ask it to turn them on or off. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below if you have any questions, and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. Peace, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.